Hi everybody, this is Anne Marie. And Thomas. How are you doing today? Well, we are going to go on a ride. And we're going to go down to San Antonio and see how the town is. We hear that it's just basically a ghost town. And it's a beautiful city. And it's a shame that we have to go through this and shelter in place. But we're going to take a chance and go for a beautiful ride today. Come with us, all right? Let's ride. Hi guys. Hi. We're at the uh, uh, exit ramp. Fixing to go into downtown San Antonio. Well, Mayor Nuremberg has asked that everybody wear masks. So, we're going to have to mask up. So now that we're masked up, we're going to go ahead and go in. Alright, we'll see you soon. That's right.
everybody. As you know, we just got through going through San Antonio. Nice hot ride. Yeah, it was. But uh, it was kind of eerie in a way. It was. It wasn't the normal ride. I mean, I was having flashbacks of that uh, that uh, Will Smith movie. I can't remember what the name of it is. Oh. Him and his dog after a pandemic, eating pandemic, you oh, know? Oh, I can't remember that. I'll remember that at 11 o'clock and wake you up tonight. But it felt... I'll do some research and put, put it in there. Yeah, put a link in there. But it was... It was very eerie. It was like a Stephen King movie. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't like that. Um, nobody on the streets of San Antonio. As you saw. Yeah. And if you can see, I videotaped in front of some of the store windows. You can see us on the bike. Nobody's around. There was some workers I got, um, and they were planting flowers with masks on and gloves. City workers. Yes, yeah, city workers. But it's just so sad. It's really sad. People are paying attention, and it's a shame this, this world has come to this. So I hope it ends soon. What do you think? You think uh -uh. it will? I think it will. I think we'll we'll get through it. Um, America's a strong nation. Yeah. Um, on a lighter note, we did donate some more yes. masks to another uh, medical office. Yes, that was fun. And they were very happy. They didn't, they wished to stay anonymous, so we won't mention any names. Right. Um. They yeah. Gotta... I, I I think we'll get through. it. I hope you like the video and stay tuned. We'll send you, send out some more information and everything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave us a note, a comment or whatever you want. Please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And make sure you're okay. Please stay safe and of course wash those hands and please when you get rid of your gloves. Oh my god. Find a trash receptacle for your gloves and masks, please, people. Oh, click. Stop being a moron. You know, when you take off those gloves, oh. you're actually turning them inside out. So you're exposing all your body fluids, your sweat, your skin, and everything else. You're exposing that. Isn't that's, that... a, that's a biohazard. Yeah. Pay attention, son. This is for your own good. So please, don't don't throw them in baskets or in the parking lot. That's not only littering, but that, like I said, that's a biohazard. And people have to go back behind you. And pick them up. And pick them up. That, that, that's stupid, people. I saw a picture of a guy in New York had a, a basket full of rubber gloves and masks. You know... Enough is enough. Come on. Be smart about this. If you're going to wear the mask and the gloves to stop the pandemic from going, then go all the way. Throw your gloves away. Please. Okay? For you and for me, for your kids, anybody else's kids. Let's be safe. Anyway, we're going to get off our soapbox. All right. Until next time. You stay safe, stay healthy. Please. And we'll catch you on the flip side. All right. That's all, folks.